All right, so I am going to make a quick little review, uh, going over some, not all, of the problems on uh, this worksheet. So for instance, I won't do one, but I will do two. All right, I will put a red dot here to let you know that the red line is for that graph and the blue line, blue dots for the blue line is for that graph, for that equation. So we have y is equal to negative one-third x minus four. What we need is our y-intercept and our slope. <clears throat> well, our y-intercept is the constant, so remember it's y is equal to mx plus b, it's the constant being added or subtracted. So in this case, it is negative four. And our slope is what's being multiplied to the x, so negative one over three. So we plot our y-intercept first at negative four. Then we plot our other point, our slope. We plot our next points using our slope. So this is our rise over run. It is our change in y over change in x. But it says we're going down one and then to the right three. One, two, three. All right, then... I want to plot as many points as I can, so I'm also going to rewrite this as 1 over negative 3. <clears throat> so this way I can plot points in the other direction. So up 1, 1, 2, 3. All right, now if I try to plot any other point, uh, I am going to fall off the graph. So at this point, I will then draw a straight line. All right, you will use a straight edge. Uh, for me, using this tablet, it's tough at times to get a ruler to work properly on here because uh, I can't really see where the line is beforehand. Um, but this is the best I can do. All right, you will be using a straight edge, though, on your, um, on your quiz. All right, so now we have our next equation. Y is equal to 2x plus 3. Our y-intercept is 3, and our slope is 2, or 2 over 1. So we go up to this 3, we plot our point, and now we're going to do our slope, up 2 over 1. All right now, if I want to plot more points on here to get the most accurate graph I can, uh, I will also plot my slope as negative 2 over negative 1 because that is still a positive 2. So I can go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. All right, once again, uh, you will use a straight edge. Uh, I am trying my best right now to use a straight edge on this uh, writing tool I have. It's just going to be tough. All right, now we look to see where they overlap. That is this point here. So that is our solution. We put our answer as an ordered pair. It is negative three, negative three. All right. Uh, I'm going to skip both of these. And I will move on to the next questions, uh, which will be these ones here. Um, I'm going to do number five because some people seem to have trouble with number five. So I'll put a blue dot here to let you know that the blue line is that equation. The red line would be that equation. So y is equal to negative 5x plus 2. Uh, our b is 2. Our slope is negative 5 over 1. Or we can write it as 1, uh, sorry, 5 over negative 1. Uh, so here's our point. If I try to go up 5, I'm off the graph. So I'll go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1 to the right. Uh, once again, I'm going to try my best to use the straight edge on here. It can just be difficult at times because uh, I, I can't see it like you can on the paper. Let me do this. All right, I can't get it right now to work. Uh, so I'm just going to draw this freehand. All right, I apologize for this. Uh, it should not be like that. You will be using a straight edge. It'll be a lot easier for you uh, than it will be right now for me on this uh, writing pad. All right, for the blue equation, we have y is equal to 5, negative 5x minus 1. Same thing, our y-intercept is negative 1. Our slope is negative 5. We put that over 1. So here at negative 1, if we go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or we're off of the graph. So I need to look at this as positive 5 over negative 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1 here. All right, I'm trying a different ruler. So let's see. Uh, I'm just going to have to draw this freehand. I apologize for this. Um, All right, so you will be using a straight edge. It's hard for me right now on this writing tablet uh, to use any ruler because I don't see it except for just on my computer screen. Uh, but when you graph it, it looks something like this, and they never touch or never intersect, so your answer is no solution.